welcome back to my channel. So today I have both my BoxyCharm and my Ipsy bag to share with you guys. I wanted to do like a two for one situation because I noticed that both of them have kind of a similar theme going on. So I thought it would be interesting to see which one is better. Let's just jump straight into the comparison. But before we get started, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so don't be shy to click that subscribe button. Okay, so this is this one's Ipsy bag, which is so pretty. It's like this faux leather bag, but it has this masquerade mask that's kind of like engraved on there. All right, so the first item is this guy right here, and this is the Perfect Repair Treatment Mask. It's a color protectant and paraben free. Okay, it's a treatment mask for hair, so that's awesome. It has kind of like a cucumbery scent. Mmm, smells really good. Since this is a leave-in treatment, I will try this out later and let you guys know my thoughts in the description box below. The next item in the bag is by So Susan Cosmetics. This is the Color Trip High Intensity Color Pigment, and it's in the shade Mysterious. Wow, this is so vampy. I love it. The next item is wow. Oh, we got a morphe blush this is awesome this is such a pretty shade i love mauvey blushes and the shade is called spirit how perfect the next item is by ink credible <laughs> i like that it says you glow girl and this is their cosmic blur iridescent jelly i think it'll look really pretty on top of this so can't wait to try this out. All right, and the last item in the bag is, so this is the It's A Pout Time Vivid Lipstick Mini, and it's in the shade Better Call Salmon. Oh, this is the cutest. Oh my gosh, I really like the packaging. It's so cute. This shade is so perfect for the girls that really don't want to wear vampy lips all throughout the season, but it's still really like fall, you know? So those were all the items in the Ipsy bag. Let's move on to BoxyCharm. This is this month's box, and their theme for this month is Alter Ego. So the first item that I see is this guy right here. This is called the Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm by Pharmacy, um, made exclusively for BoxyCharm. It smells like a spa, I don't know. <laughs> this is the next item in the box, and it is by Dermovia. It says Lace Appeal with Compression Technology. It is a black bamboo charcoal peel-off mask. Again, whenever I do get to trying this out, I will let you guys know my thoughts in the description box below, but for right now, it's going in my drawer full of masks. So the next item is this guy right here and it is the it cosmetics superhero mascara we got this a long time ago i think in i think it was an ipsy bag and fell in love absolutely fell in love this gives you extremely long lashes like it's ridiculous i can't remember if it gave me thick lashes but it, i do remember the length was ridiculous really excited about that the next item in the box is this right here it is by kat mondi and it is her everlasting liquid lipstick and i remember seeing a sneak peek of this on the boxycharm instagram and i was hoping that i did not get this color this is the k-dub shade it's like this crazy pinky purple and i hate pinky purples it just does not suit me look, look at that Ugh. they had so many other pretty colors and i can't believe i got the one shade that i was hoping i wouldn't get i'm so bummed Ugh. that's one thing about these subscription boxes and bags is that you're kind of taking a risk because you never know what you're gonna get i feel like they should have people choose their top three or something you know so that they won't get super disappointed. I am really, really excited though that we got a Kat Von D liquid lipstick, but that's why I'm like extra bummed out because I've always wanted to try out her liquid lipstick, but I got this shade. Oh my gosh. I don't know when I would ever wear this shade. These shades just don't suit me and I would never wear this out. I would never, I don't know, except for a makeup tutorial, but other than that, maybe for Halloween if I'm going as Barbie. Hopefully this last item will bring up my spirits. So this is by Pure Cosmetics and it is their Midnight Masquerade face palette. Do you see what I mean? Masquerade, masquerade. Did they plan this out? I don't know. 
I have to say though, this packaging is so, so pretty. They have like blush options, a bronzer option, highlight, and then they have six eyeshadow shades. Hopefully they swatch just as pretty. Gorgeous. Onto the eyeshadows. Oh wow, look at that green. And that blue, oh my goodness. These are super foiled. I really, really like them so far. Hopefully they are just as good on the eyes. So that was all that was in my boxy charm. And now is the portion where we try all of these goodies out. So let's start off with Ipsy. I absolutely loved this Loose Pigment by So Susan. It is such a beautiful purple color. It's like the perfect vibrant yet vampy purple for this time of year. This incredible You Glow Girl Cosmic Blur Gel. I did really like it. It did give a really nice sheen on my lids and it did dry down, which is awesome but because it is a gel and because it's wet it did kind of wipe off the pigment that i had on below so just be really careful that's why i ended up using a brush to kind of just glop it on instead of like smoothing it on because when you smooth it on it wipes off all your makeup just a tip but i did really really like this the morphe blush so gorgeous it's what i have on my cheeks i absolutely love this it is very powdery when i dipped in my brush but i mean it doesn't really bother me as long as it doesn't look chalky when i put it on my face which it didn't so love this and this lipstick is so beautiful i love this color i would have to say all four of these out of the five products i mean i haven't tried the leave-in hair treatment yet but so far these i can't even pick a favorite these were just amazing if i were to give ipsy a score out of 10 i would probably give them a nine um only because i don't know how this will work out but I'm, i may change it later on but as of right now it's a nine out of ten which is so awesome on to boxycharm i really love this cleansing balm this is 22 dollars it is pretty steep if you want to save money then definitely use coconut oil or olive oil but i did really like this product still other than the price tag i did really like it this mascara of course absolutely love it it did actually give a little bit of thickness as well but it just made my eyelashes look crazy long i don't know if you can tell on camera but i fell in love with this all over again but i do remember one thing that i did not like about this mascara was that it dried out really fast faster than any of my other mascaras so that's the only downside but i mean it works amazingly this cap on d lippy it did feel nice on the lips it didn't transfer anything after you let it dry so the formula i really liked from the few seconds i had it on <laughs> but this color again not a fan not a fan there are some skin tones that can pull this off like no other but on me just like ugh. this palette was actually amazing the eyeshadows are actually really i don't want to say moist i don't like that word but yeah they were moist like when you press your brush in it kind of leaves like an indentation which is so crazy they were incredible so i ended up using five out of the ten shades in here this highlight is beautiful i love it the bronzer i use that as well gorgeous the only other product that i didn't use was this lace mask but i'm really excited like how pretty will a lace mask look oh my gosh so if i were to give boxycharm a grade out of 10 i would still have to give it a 9 it would have gotten a perfect 10 if it wasn't for this color i ugh. if you were keeping up i have now given both ipsy and boxycharm a 9 which results in a tie but we can't leave it at a tie we just can't so i decided to do some math 
Because Ipsy usually gives sample sizes, um, I just divided the product value in half, which I know is not accurate, but... So, after doing the math, Ipsy came out to $51.50, just about, and you pay $10 for your Ipsy bag. That means the Ipsy bag gave you five times the value of what you paid for it. For BoxyCharm, the value was $134, and you pay $21 per month for the box, which actually gave you a six-time value for what you pay for it. So, according to the math, BoxyCharm is the winner for this month. All right, guys, so that's it for my ipsy bag versus boxy charm video i hope you guys enjoyed please let me know what you guys got in your ipsy bag and boxy charm and if you liked all of your products did you get a disappointing product and who did you think deserved to win this month's ipsy versus boxy other than that please give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video bye